Hello, welcome back guys to a new episode of Chris Tales. So last time I got to Tolera City and basically explored all of it. We found there are new civilians which have which have migrated into it and basically Tolera people don't like them. And basically some close friend to Wilhelm which has been the most poor which has which used to be the most powerful person in uh, Tolera has died. Basically her sister, the aunt of his discipline, is now in power instead of her. Which basically she does not like him, he does not like her, no one likes her. And that's about it. Oh, and this city basically going to ruins pretty freaking soon. Basically you can see like it's already going to ruin into ruins like it's failing and it is falling at the same time no one is caring about uh, redecorating nor figuring out, that, figuring out what's going on with the problem in it like as you can see the entrance to the entrance at the entrance to the left and right what happened between the past and the future at the same time we're gonna have to help this guy find his tools Anyhow, uh, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go to the museum because Risa, was it Risa or, or, or Risa? Risa, Thank you all so much. Risa uh, thinks the suspicious person who killed her mother is at the museum. So that's exactly where I'm going, or well, was spotted at the museum, my bad. Which is a shadow figure that we saw, well not like last episode, the episode before that. At Wilhelm Mansion. So yeah, let's go and see if we can catch it and figure out what happened to the tools and if he was well indeed one of the one who murdered the one who murdered her mother. Risa's she's mother. The museum where Risa said to meet her, but it doesn't seem like she's here yet. You've been acting a little strange ever since we met her, Christopher. He likes so. <laughs> what can I say? She's cute and I love her energy. Straight forward. Okay, that's a straightforward guy. I liked you better when you were thinking with your stomach. <laughs> same dude, same, I wouldn't Whatever. lie. Seems like we need to kill some time before she gets here. Why don't we check out some of the exhibits? I mean, sure, I'm down. Why not? Seems cool, seems like a cool idea. Let me just show this was what it is in the past. What about in the future? Okay, everything has been taken. I swear, I saw this thing move. This artifact feels familiar somehow. It How? looks as if it could wake up at any moment. No. Oh, come on! You freaking just jinx it. <sighs> Good morning, my children. It feels good to wake up. I told you, you just freaking jinxed it. Oh, I'm sorry if I start sta startled you, sweetheart. I think your magic helped me wake up. I wish I could give you a nice present to make you feel better. It's uh, alive. It appears so. I, 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 I must say, I'm not quite feeling like myself, though. In fact, well, that would do it. I seem to be missing m my, 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 my body. What the heck are you? Me? I am one of the witnesses, I think. My memories are a, a little fuzzy. That's why you felt familiar. You're like Miss Paulina. Paulina? Uh, no, wait. My name is Buki. Sorry, dear. <laughs> Everyone hates a freaking memory loss. It's alright, don't worry about it. Where are you from? So, he's like one of the guardians. Hmm. I was the guardian of something until a lady came and... 
did something to me. I wish I could remember what it was. Oh, confound it. When you reach my, my, my age, you really ought to keep some notes. Well, she is certainly unique. Perhaps we should bring her with us. I mean, sure. Maestro? I suppose she can't do much harm in that state. Let's see what we can learn from her. Are you guys serious? You wouldn't be scared, would you, warrior? <laughs> I'm here, everyone. What did I miss? It's a bit of a long story, but I'll be happy to fill you in later. I mean... <laughs> Whoa, she sure does look elegant in the future. Can you check something about? Oh, okay, so that's a freaking buddy. After the last a ice age, Arabian fossils in the Torilla region began to change quickly. Crystal deposits in the bone and their bones may have given these birds magical abilities, but at the cost of making their uh, okay, cool down. <clears throat> okay. I choked on my on spit. Okay, crystal deposit, crystal deposits, and their bone may have given these birds magical abilities, but at the cost of making them too heavy for flight. After hold up, after becoming terrestrial, terrestrial, the avian life of the Tolera region began to use tools for hunting here we can see some of their hunting weapons which were probably also used use in inner, tri uh, inner tribal combat there are no records explaining what these or ornate ornet bowels were used for but researchers have found the uh, Residue of a blood and pulverized, pu pulverized sapphires. This place is incredible. Look at all those artifacts. They detail the past of the city and how the Talirans became what they are today. Yeah, these are freaking hard words. This place, they detail the. Oh, so it's the same thing, left and right. All right. Wow, dude, this looks silly. Thank you all again for coming. Anytime. So, how can we help? The lower floors of the museum are over this way. Uncle Lucio used to be the curator, and his old office is down this way too. After Mom died, the museum was closed. It's fallen into disrepair, and there are monsters all over. Oh, no worries about that. We're good at handling monsters. So this is where you saw that suspicious shadow slinking off to? Yes, I'm sure there must be some connection. Well, it's the only lead we have for the moment. Let's go check it out. You can just wait here, Risa. What? No way! Uncle Wilhelm, I'm going with you. Risa? She was my mother. I might need a little help with the monsters, but this is my investigation. I mean, like, yeah, she's right over here. It's okay, Uncle Wilhelm. I promise I'll protect her. You will not call me that ever again. <laughs> Fine, do as you will. Let's see what we can find down there. <laughs> oh, dude. It can't be open from this side. You can't jump over it. You can't freaking jump over it. It's not that hard. Eh, whatever. Let's go. <laughs> I hope this not is not. Chris Bell, what do you? I want to record our progress. 
Okay, this is gonna be a little bit hard. It's been 10 minutes since I started around that. There's a small diary here. Mentor 87. So they gave me part of the code to hold on to. Woohoo! I'm not sure why everyone gets so excited about being code keeper. The code is only there to keep the general public public out of the deeper areas of the museum anyways. And beside besides elite, what narcissist what a narcissist pick that? The code is freaking elite, seriously? Can't you come up with something Oh no, better? Oh, 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 oh. I didn't freaking check that area well, did I? That was us. Crap, forgot about that. Come on, that freaking crash on me. I did not, thank you. Defense up. I mean, like, okay. Freaking hundred, that's freaking amazing. Is that a spider, by the way? Is I'm, I'm really not sure what that is. Okay, I'm um, not sure what's going on. Why am I attacks doing so much freaking damage? I can't freaking scan it? What kind of bullshit is that? HP do you have? Alright, let's continue the fight. I assume Thunder is good over here. Thank you. And we got Crystal back. Poison, but back. Like, thank you. Let me check this room and nothing. How about the other one? I mean, the picture looks like time press one, which is weird. Time mute. Time mute? <laughs> what? I mean, can I go here? Oh, 
Let me try. Oh my goodness! This seems to be a part of my body. My gross. You take it, Chris Bell. Oh, um, okay. What is it, though? Oh, a head. Oh, please don't freaking. I didn't even go to the right freaking side yet. What just happened? Ooh, I remember this f f f feeling, feeling. You're awakening to one of the p p powers of the Rena. Rena? What does that mean? Um. They say you learn the fastest by doing, sweet sweetie. Why don't you try touching that column over there? I mean, this one? Which one? Which column? Why did you just uh, stop? Okay. Get up attack, I'm gonna lie. Now what color was it? This one? This column, something feels a little off about it. Put your ha hand, hand, hand on it, sweetie. Ah. <sighs> I did that, Maestro. It seems you can now send objects into the past and future, as well as your little amphibian friend. That's freaking cool. Impressive as always, Chris Bell. I'm sure this power will be very useful. Maybe we should have restored it instead. The power sent to object to the past and the future is yours. Even if it's something, sometimes sound shifting an object will allow you to reach places you could not before. Yes. Restore, please. I don't want to break something above. Even though I can. Have I been here? Yep. Now let me check this area too. Oh, hello. Like this school. Why are there so many items over here? Who the hell am I going to fight? Look against lightning. Zod. Okay, cool. If 
defensive. Even with you being freaking defensive, I took you down pretty easily too. Anti-mute. What else is anti-mute? Here. Oh, okay, it's about the code again. How about this closet because I did not freaking check it out. That was a real, I cannot freaking break, break the past, I uh, think. There seems to be something here. What is it? Oh, old ruler. Old ruler? Like, okay, cool. What's wrong with the pictures of freaking everywhere nowadays? Alright, I'm gonna go into the rooms and check if I can do anything else, like anywhere. Nope, this one. So, I know. And. No. Alright, I'm gonna go down and check it out. Check out if there's anything down there.
Don't see anything over here so far. Right, let's see. Key. What's that? See, the book was added to your bag. Hey guys, check out this book I found. This is a museum, fool. Not a library. Things are for looking, not for touching. <laughs> no, I didn't. I mean, it was already burned when we rescued it. Look, it has some sort of seal. Cool. Why would a book need a lock like this? It doesn't even look like a key would fit. Stop. Let me see that. Huh? That is no mere lock. It's a magical seal. This is Gladys's magic for sure. You have no idea what enchantments have been placed on it. Cool. It must be opened in the intended way. Otherwise, the contents will vanish without a trace. Then how do we open it? It has a strange hole in it, but I've never seen a key that would fit that. Fascinating. Any suggestions, Wilhelm? Mother Superior. If anyone was close to Gladys, it was her. She might know where to start. Then let's go and ask Mother Superior about it. I mean, that's cool. And all. I'm gonna go through here, but not now. I'm feeling too tired at the moment. Let's get going to save and then end the episode afterwards. So yeah. Lightning attack? I mean, cool. Alright, I do have to for the first, second, and third floor. Well, second, I can go now to the left. So, yeah, I'm gonna head over here. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Take care, everyone, and let's see you next time with a new one. I'm pretty tired all of a sudden. Chris Bell, I don't know what's up. I want to record our progress. So, yeah, let's see you next time with a new one. Take care, everyone, and ciao ciao. I'm gonna do a redo. I love the I left the freaking game for too long. Just to match where I... Where I leave now. So yeah. Ciao, ciao.